I specifically applied to this lab and this program um, two years ago. And I, you know, in talking to Professor Kazaruni, he said, I want to make paralyzed individuals walk. And I said, that's absolutely a goal I want to take part in. The user would get into the suit. Um, you can see there's a lot of padding to, to deal with um, making the, the user comfortable. Um, a large element of our research is, is making sure that we don't um, injure the user because they can't feel anything below their injury. We're trying really hard to protect everything that the user can't feel. We have motors, goes through a power transmission, um, which executes uh, leg motions. When Austin wants to walk, uh, he asks the system to take a step or to stand up or to sit down uh, through, through some sort of user interface. Uh, and that sends a command to the computer, and the computer executes a motion. And so basically there are uh, feedback mechanisms with, within this power, power transfer um, system that tell the computer where we are in space, as in where the leg is relative to the body. Um, and the programmer, in this case Jason, programs a trajectory, programs a desired leg motion. Um, and the system follows that desired motion to execute a, a walk. In the back, you can see we have um, a really basic microcontroller, um, some wireless communications devices, uh, power amplification for the motors, and then a motor and a drivetrain, and then two large battery packs on the side. I'm very excited about graduation day. I'll probably be spotting the suit with uh, Jason and Wayne, uh, and I'm sure Josh will be there in, uh, spotting too. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun to see all our hard work come together and, and hopefully make this guy be the first paralyzed individual to, to walk to get his diploma.